Hi, I'm Alan Tatro with Global Sugar Art, and today I'd like to show you how easy it is to decorate fall cookies or any sugar cookie with royal icing, a toothpick, a simple decorating bag, and get a fabulous result. These are some fall cookies that we produce, uh, some oak leaves and maple leaves, some squirrels and acorns. Uh, for the eyes, we use some drag ease. For the tops of the acorns, uh, we use a little bit of sanding sugar and I'm going to dump these on the floor for you. <laughs> so I'll show you how to do these now. We begin with just a Wilton parchment paper. Now these are triangles, they come all cut in a triangle shape and to put one of these together, put the, the long part of the triangle away from you and all you do is twir uh, curl this in up to the top and then curl the other side over and you get a perfect parchment bag and then what I like to do is just fold that down and then you have a bag ready to go. Now we would just put our thin down royal icing in the bag and snip off the end in order to decorate these cookies. So I have some bags all made and ready to go and again, the icing that we're using is just the uh, CK Royal Icing Mix. We make it according to the directions and then we thin it down with a little bit of water and we color it with uh, food coloring. So let's start with a basic, <clears throat> this is a maple leaf. And I'm going to fill in the outside of this leaf with the thin down Royal Icing. And I'm going to probably make about two rows so that I get a little border on there. But in this case, I'm not going to completely fill it in. And then I'm going to add some colors. Now I'm not being real strict about how I'm doing this. <clears throat> there. There. And now I'm going to take a simple toothpick and I'm just going to do swirls. And I'm going to bring this icing in to fill it in. And that's how you get that fall sort of swirl decoration in there. So there's one done. And we'll do another one here. Let's do an orange on the outside of this one. You can use reds, yellows, oranges, greens, whatever color you want to use to fill in. All right, get a little bit more at the base. Hmm. And this time I'm going to add a little bit more. And we'll get some green in there too. And then we'll use our toothpick and just fill that right in. And you can see how easy these are to do and the results are just really fun. It's an easy project for children to do. Um, they just have a ball creating their own colors and their own individual cookies. Okay, now we're going to do a round cookie and a little different variation. I'm going to use white icing and I'm just going to go around the outside edge. I want to fill this in, but I don't want it too thick. Otherwise, when you add the other colors, it'll run over the sides of the cookie. So I'd rather fill it in, use a spatula, just sort of fill it in. Okay, now I'm going to use three different colors. I've got my green here. And I'm going to make a line straight across. I'll do three lines. And then the orange. And 
finally the yellow. Now let's see here. And then I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to make three different circles with the toothpick but going in an opposite direction each time. So I'll start on the outside and I'll go clockwise and just go all the way around. Then I'll go in a little bit and I'll go the other way. And then finally clockwise again in the center. And there is sort of a pinwheel pattern. This one was done the same but rather than going in a circle I just started in the center and came out. So you can use your imagination and do these any way you'd like. Uh, they're, like I said, they're a great cookie to do with children or a family project. Um, they're, they're, they're great with the fall. You could also do them for Easter or any holiday. Uh, just color the icings uh, for the appropriate uh, season and have fun with it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. All the products are available at globalsugarart.com. You can find the cookie cutters, the uh, food coloring, the royal icing mix. Probably the only thing I don't have is toothpicks. Thanks a lot. Bye.